Hello, I'm Mark from Safety NS, and today we're going to set up a filter for home usage. We will adjust the router configuration, particularly the DNS settings. Please prepare the admin credentials of your router. Let's start with the main configuration tool, the dashboard. We will do most parts of the configuration using that tool. On the main page of the dashboard, there is a summary of your account, the status of the filter, account email, your public IP address, and the subscription type. A bit lower part of the main page shows you the manuals and guides on how to configure the service. Once the DNS requests are received by our server, the status of the filter will be changed from network configuration is incorrect to the quantity of the allowed and blocked domains. Now we need to set up DNS servers on your router. Please access the web interface of your router and locate the DNS server options. It depends on the model of your router. In most cases, DNS setup is in the network configuration. Please use the IP addresses of the DNS servers from the dashboard. For more detailed setup information, please visit our blog. We are starting now the setup in the dashboard. The base is the device configuration and the policy setup. We are opening the Settings tab in the dashboard and configuring the IP address of your router here. Please copy the IP address from the field Your IP Address and paste it into the IP Address field. What is the policy? Policies are a bunch of the rules applied to a specific device or to a specific time. If you are using the SafeDNS agent application, you can set up the one policy for the laptop and the other policy for the desktop. And the third one can be applied on the mobile phone with the SafeDNS application installed. What is the category? SafeDNS has a huge database of domains that are categorized as entertainment, business sites, adult sites, etc. For example, if there is a need to block adult content in your network, you simply lock the category and all domains known as adult sites will be blocked. For a more granular setup, we recently released the new feature App Blocker. Using the category, you can block the whole categories of the social network. Meanwhile, the App Blocker allows you to block Facebook and LinkedIn and leave Instagram open. Let's block the Games category in the App Blocker and save the changes. You can also block online ads in the Category tab. What is the SafeDNS agent? Aside from the router configuration that will be applied to the whole network, SafeDNS provides another level of service usage, personal applications. We call them agents. That special application can be installed on Windows, Linux, Android, or Mac devices and may have a specific filter set up for that device. For example, if you are using a private laptop and prefer to stay safe even when you are out of your filtered home network, once you install an agent on your laptop, your computer will be safe outside of the home network. All available types of agents are available to our customers. We recently released Agent for Mac computers. Once you logged in from the agent, this record will appear on the dashboard. After that, you can change the policy for the device. Don't forget to save the changes. Now we're going to talk about one famous feature of our service, Schedule. It is used by customers on a daily basis, easy to configure and flexible in setup. Using this option, you can set the time when the exact policy will be applied. For example, during the day your kids are not allowed to use YouTube, and in the evening they can access videos. In this case, we are blocking YouTube in one policy, while the second one has YouTube allowed. To make this scenario work, you need to have at least two policies existing. The scheduler is working automatically without any interaction from the user. The Allow and Deny list. This feature allows you to block access to certain domains or allow some domains while the category of that domain might be blocked. For example, we are going to block YouTube for the Kids Time Policy. We are selecting the Kids Time Policy and entering the domain YouTube. 
The window will show the list of the domains that are linked with YouTube as well. We are adding all of them into Deny List. To make the schedule work, we need to apply the policy Kids Time to the IP address of our network. More information about the schedule can be found in our blog. And the last feature I would like to share with you is the custom block page. It allows you to show specific information on the domains that are blocked. You can write a name and description, select the appearance, and add an image for the custom block page. Based on your needs and preferences, you can set up the custom block page that can be configured and adjusted, or you can hide the information that the domain was blocked. It may be useful to parents who do not want to show that web access is filtered. This is what we wanted to share with you in this video. Hope it was useful and can help you in setting up the service. To get more information about setup, please visit our blog and help tab from the dashboard.